It's Republic in red, the roots in white. And here we go from Sacramento. Jonathan Ricketts with an early first touch in for Jack Gurr, who's serving a one game suspension on a red card. But what an addition of Justin Pertil. We're getting a first look at him this evening. This one's over the top, and Connor Donovan is able to find his way. But here's Johnny Rodriguez, one of the most dangerous players in the Western Conference. Felipe and Mefeka, former teammates, but here's Camden Riley just outside the 18, trying to make a cross, looking for Rodriguez down to Mefeka. Mefeka will find the net, his first on the year, and Oakland taking the early lead in the 20th minute. We knew it was going to be a good game tonight, and I think that goal for the Oakland Roots. Having some opportunities in the corner, he'll get to it. Ricketts has to come back to be the mark just outside the 18, working inside, falling down, tripping, pointed to the penalty, and disaster striking here for Sacramento as a penalty kick coming for the Oakland Roots. And catches him, not too much complaints from, from Ricketts, and this is what Trayvon Reed loves to do. He loves to get you in those 1v1 positions, and you don't get the ball, you extend your leg. It's, it, it is a tough one. To, and it does look like it is a penalty kick, and the Oakland Roots are going to have a, an opportunity to take a two-goal lead here. Rodriguez subsided to a player a week ago. A little hesitation. Stop by Vidiello. Oh, another big one from Danny Vidiello. It just soft enough on the ground, and it remains a one nothing match, and it's sort of igniting the crowd a bit. How do you turn this momentum into something positive? Big question here for Sacramento. That's my guy right there. I love that man. You guys play the game, uh, between these two sides has played here a one nothing victory in Oakland for the season suite. And this is in the corner, giving some chase. Herrera is going to get to it, and he's taken out by Surreal. The flag goes up, and there's a yellow card to the goalkeeper. No doubt, I can get a better look at this on the replay, but that, that looks to be a penalty kick. First contact, I think it's just outside. I, a very close, I'll let, leave it to you two. I'm saying penalty. So what does this mean for you and, and how you operate? Is this better for you? Is this you just finding different spots? What does this look like? Yeah, it allows me to play in a little bit more of my comfortable position. Meanwhile, Rodriguez, Rodriguez looking for a shot. It's stopped by Danny Villalokan. Oh, what a big time stop charging down for Sacramento. Hard cross in, here's Kieran Phillips trying to redirect, and it's right there for Vianair. Sent away twice by Timothy Cyril. The flag was up. That was here against Tampa Bay two weeks ago, and six draws on the year. Trying to get to number seven, a victory or a draw would put Sacramento at first, but here's an opportunity. Mafeka again, Lando Mafeka has doubled the lead. He's been an A-plus player all night long. And Oakland, with their biggest lead ever against Sacramento in the all-time series, and it's 2-0 in the 48th minute. And once again, Lindon Feka gets on the score sheet. And it's just real positive from the second ball. It's just bouncing around. And Feka just drives and just cuts through the middle. A little touch from Rodriguez, he'll get the assist on it. It was a really good finish by Lindo and Fekic. Again, just slotting it past Danny Vitiello. Good composure for Sacramento. I mean, this has been about as close as you could possibly get. Republic have scored 10 here. The Roots have now scored five. They've only had three coming into tonight. This ball is driven well. Sorrell able to take it. Sacramento gained the best of Oakland last year. 3-1 and 1-0. Again, Mefeka. Oh, Mefeka hit the top crossbar. Nearly a hat trick from Lindo. Just about an inch away from, from getting his hat trick. And it's just positive play once again from him. He just commits people in the box. No one really wants to foul him. He's served up some bullets tonight. Quickly, Nick Ross into some space. Phillips a little bit ahead of him. He's going to have to try to keep it in play. Cuts it back. Oh, my. Oh. What an opportunity.
Kieran Phillips doing everything he can to get a good look on goal. Jai trying to find something, keeps it low. Opportunity to make it three, and Jaciel Cedeno. A 3 nothing advantage for Oakland. They haven't done much in the attack in the second half, Oakland Roots. Villadair comes out for Sanchez. Nick Ross now. Playing it forward. Parado's able to get free. He's got two runners in the box. Hackshaw's in front of him. Takes a deflection. Here comes Sacramento right back. It's Trevor Ammon. Oh, it's three to one. Trevor Ammon making a back post run. The ball took a bit of a deflection. And Parado's energy moving forward. At least set up some salvation for Sacramento last time. They were defeated 3 0. It was all the way back in July 22nd. Hackshaw at the back is, is absolutely gassed for, for the Oakland Roots, and I think he's going to have to stay in this game. Pirano over the top. Here comes Trevor Ammon. Still is there as well. The collision between the two. The follow up. Haragi is missed. Oh. Ball played through. Nick Ross waiting for it. Ross! Republic got a fine target, and they just have given too many golden chances right back to Oakland without a threat. This Oakland side fell to San Jose in the Open Cup 1-0, and then Sacramento taking down the Earthquakes a few weeks later. Nick Ross has all kinds of room. Trevor Ammon now to his left foot. is going to go to his right. Oh, and Trevor Ammon with a brace. In stoppage time. It's a one-goal lead now for the Oakland Roots. Oh, what a game this has become, Adam Moffitt. There's four minutes left in this one. Trevor Ammon is not done. He definitely came into this game with a little point to prove and two goals. And he would love to get a third. Lindo Mafeka was subbed out in front. He knew this game was over. Gavin Glenn's fired up. I think he has a case. I don't think Jared Timmer was fouled there. Nicely done by Vidiello. And there's the whistle. Sacramento won't get a chance. 